What are the rules? No screaming, no crying, no running away. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. So come along with us today as we head to Costco. We'll probably go to Walmart, maybe another store. I'm not quite sure. And then when we get back home, I'll show you everything that we picked up. Okay guys, so the Costco rules. They started as a way for me to easily remind the kids what I was expecting of them when we went into the store. So my rules are no crying, no screaming, no running away. But then the kids decided to add their own rules. They added no stealing stuff, no falling over, and no being weird. So yes, those are the Costco rules. And no, they don't always follow them. Okay friends, we are back home now. We ended up going to Costco and to the grocery outlet. And if you've never heard of a grocery outlet, it's basically like an Aldi, so you can get some really good deals there. I like to stock up on things when I go to that store. The grand total for today's shopping trip was about $350, but I did stock up on a few things and we also needed some paper products, so those definitely added to the cost. So for this haul, we definitely got some of our staple items. We also got some things that we don't normally buy, things for birthdays and for some interesting lunches that I'm gonna be making. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things from Costco and then we'll work our way over here. So from Costco, I did get a big thing of paper towels. This whole thing usually lasts me about a month and a half. We try to use them sparingly because they're not very cheap. And then I also got a big thing of toilet paper. And sorry about the lighting, you guys. It's an awkward, it's kind of a different time of day for me to do a grocery haul, but we're gonna go with it. I also got two packages of the chocolate muffins from Costco. Miss Lily requested those. And then underneath that, I have five dozen eggs. We've been using a lot of eggs for breakfast around here, so we definitely wanted to stock up. And then Lily also picked out this pizza kit. This may end up being her special birthday uh, dinner. So this comes with three, no, four different pizza crusts and the sauce. And you guys, you can actually freeze these. That's what we did last time we bought these and they are really good. So you just pull one out of the freezer when you wanna make a pizza and it's so easy. We also bought a triple pack of hot dogs. We got one rotisserie chicken. We got some of this fully cooked bacon. My friend Kimmy from She's In Her Apron recommends this bacon and it's really easy, so I thought we could give it a try. I got some of this five cheese tortelloni. I get a lot of questions about whether this is tortellini or tortelloni, and as you can see, it's tortelloni. But this is a really good deal. It's like this whole big thing for about $10, and this will feed my family for several meals. We also got a pineapple. Lily requested a pineapple. She loves fresh fruit, you guys, so I'm happy to pick this up for her. We got some olives, some almond milk, and then these are new at my Costco. I haven't seen these before. This is red lentil curry, and this is brown basmati rice. So they're fully cooked. They come in these pouches, so you can travel with them. They're really easy and convenient, and they were sampling them while we were there, so I know that they're pretty good. We also picked up this huge thing of Activia yogurt. Right now you get 24 cups for only $5.99. That's a really good deal for us. We got some string cheese, some cheddar cheese, some Havarti cheese. I think we get these just about every time we go to Costco. I definitely like to throw these into lunches. We got some Kerrygold butter, some ketchup, and then back here we got some new Contigo Kid Cups. It's been several months, maybe about nine months since our last cup purchase, but we're headed to Disney World and I wanted to have some nice new, not all dinged up cups to take with us. Hiding back over here, I have just a few more things from Costco, including this cereal. Now, I kind of I kind of regret saying yes to this, but since it's going to be Lily's birthday, I, I went ahead and said yes, but I don't know. It's, I know it's not very good for them, but maybe for a birthday treat, it would be okay. And then I also got a double pack of the vinegar. I love using this um, for laundry and for cleaning, and this big thing is only like $3, it's super cheap. Moving on to the things from the grocery outlet, I definitely stocked up on my favorite freezer items, including lots of these meals. These are so quick and easy. These don't have any meat in them, which I really like. 
This one is the three cheese and kale bake. And then this one is the Mexican casserole. At the regular grocery stores, these are about $3.99 or $4.99, but at the grocery outlet, they're only $1.99. I got two of this one and two of that one. And then I also got the Chipotle Poblano breakfast enchiladas. That's a, lo that's a very long title, but this is really good. And then I also got another uh, chili relleno. So you can kind of tell what kind of stuff I really like. <laughs> I also stocked up on some gluten-free pizzas. If you guys don't know, my husband does have celiac disease, so he eats gluten-free. So I was really happy to find these for $2.99 a piece because at the regular grocery store, these are easily $5 or more. I picked up some of our favorite ranch. This is a really good yogurt-based ranch. We got some golden Oreos. Those are for a very special lunch video. Lots of tomatoes. You got some of these fruit cups. These ones are peach and those ones are pears. And these are also for the special lunch video. I also picked up these guys, I've never seen them before. It's a Baby Bell cheese and crackers all in the same little container. So that looks really fun, something different for the lunch boxes. I think the kids will be excited to give that a try. And then back over here, I picked up two boxes of these granola bars. This one is in the coconut cashew flavor. That sounds really good. And then I also got some of the pretzel and peanut ones. And then you guys, I also got a carrot cake. I don't usually make carrot cake. I like it, but it's kind of a lot of work. So this is for a special lunch video I'm working on. And so are these guys, little ginger ales and Orange soda, not something I usually buy, but if you watch the video on Saturday, you'll understand. Back over here, I picked up two of my favorite salad kits. The first one is a buffalo ranch. This one's a little bit spicy, so the kids don't really like that, but that's okay. And then I also got the Mediterranean Crunch, so it comes with everything you need, the vegetables, the toppings, the dressings, they're really good. And then underneath, I got one package of the English muffins and I'm hoping to make some breakfast pizzas out of these. Moving over here, I have two bags of these Danish pancake puffs, also known as Abel Skeevers. I've purchased these before and they were so good, so I was glad to see them again. These will definitely go in the freezer. I picked up some ham for lunches, some cream cheese, some raspberry jelly. I also got some of these really interesting looking cookies. It's like a little biscuit with chocolate on top. Looks pretty fancy. Um, and then you guys, I got a ton of mac and cheese. This was only 89 cents a box, which is a pretty good deal for the organic, no artificial flavors or dyes. We really like this kind, so I wanted to stock up. And then back here, I got a big box of the popcorners. This was originally a Costco item, but the grocery outlet often will get Costco items. So this big box is only a couple dollars and it comes with these little popcorn chips. They're really good. And then back over here is something you don't usually see on my table. This is a bag of spicy hot chili Takis. So let me know in the comments down below if you like these. And then I also got some Mickey shaped veggie chips. How cute are those? But unfortunately it kind of sounds like most of them might be broken. So we'll have to wait and see. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.